as an angel. Thank you. Uh, I did that last week, actually. So, okay, I'm recording now. Um, um, yeah, guilt. Of, often a lot of motivations in humans and especially relationships, there's a, there's a lot of guilt. Like, uh, I know my, I was an overeater and my mother um, had to go to work and, and I, knew, I knew that she gave me lots of gifts and lots of food because she couldn't be there. Uh, I mean, she had legitimate reasons she was working to, uh, for, for um, but, um, and this can often happen in relationships where one feels that someone's been generous and one feels, starts to feel guilty that one hasn't done enough back in uh, to be reciprocal. Um, and the uh, 12 steps, which I think are now part of global culture to some extent, you know, the famous amends, where some people go, look, I just like to make amends because I'm in a spiritual program, uh, which has become quite uh, well known. Um, so this thing of like uh, people trying to, um, what if someone says, look, uh, um, actually we do talk about that in 12 steps, like um, um, that's why you often have a, um, a spiritual sponsor to tell you whether it's appropriate to make amends or not, because some people will think, well, you know, I, I really couldn't stand you for the last three years and I was holding these horrible thoughts. And I want to let you know that I didn't like you for three years. And uh, I want to apologize that in my head, I didn't like you for three years and say, sorry. <laughs> so your sponsor will probably tell you, probably not. Let that one go and just pray for, pray for the person because it's not, it's not actually it's going to create more harm than, than good. Um, but in terms of what if someone came up to you and said, look, and you thought there was no problem, I think that can happen a lot. Um, uh, and sometimes it can be correct that, um, or it could be uh, not, not correct. But I would, you know, I think the thing of um, grasping, like if someone came up to me and said, like, um, uh, I want to make amends to you. And is there anything I can do for you? Because I haven't, I've been selfish and I haven't uh, been a good friend or something. And I felt that there wasn't. I mean, I would just try and uh, be as loving uh, to let them off the hook because I, I would understand their intention is guilt and they can't let themselves off the hook until they feel they've done something. You know, it's like, oh, I feel guilt. Uh, let me do something for you and then I won't feel guilty. You know, whatever it is. Like uh, last week, I, I took a biscuit while you weren't looking can I at least give you a biscuit back? And I go, well, I don't mind that you took a biscuit. It doesn't affect me. Um, and uh, so it's like, well, don't, don't worry. You know, um, uh, I actually, um, you don't have to feel guilty. I actually like it when people take my biscuits because they're homemade cookies and uh, I take it as, a, as a, a thing. And if they say, no, no, I want to do something for you. Please let me do something. I go, I don't understand. Okay, you're, you're feeling guilty. You can't let yourself off the hook, even though I've said. Uh, probably like say something like, um, all right, um, I just try and say something that will help them to let go, uh, whatever it is, like, um, all right, uh, I want you to, um, if you want to do something, that I, I'd like you to uh, say a uh, hundred times every day, I surrendered you my, my guilt of taking Sabir's biscuits, and I pray for miracles and transcendence, and do that for a week, and let me know how you feel. And uh, there you go. And that, that will be a sufficient uh, thing. So I'll just try and help them or give them something which I think would help them uh, because they haven't done anything to me. But I, I would understand why they're wanting to do something for me. Okay, so...